I was uh, born on September the 11th, 1904. Oh, you're not an old man. You're not as old as my mother. <laughs> well, she was born in 02. <laughs> uh, where, uh, where were you born, Mr. Wallace? Born uh, in Fulton, Maryland. Oh, you were born in Fulton? Yes, ma'am. Your family lived I was nine there. months old when we moved over to Cedar Lane, the spread of Cedar Lane's house. And the farm that you lived on on Cedar Lane was the... Um, it's the farm that's right. Taylor Farm, or? Uh, well, it, uh, the farm I lived on wasn't the Taylor Farm until after I lost my mother. And then Taylor bought it. Taylor, bought, Taylor owned the farm right in the back of it. I see. Yeah. I see he kept for a little while, but he couldn't couldn't get help. He had diabetes and lost his leg. And uh, so he just sold it. And, and who, who did your father buy it from? Do you know? Who uh, owned it? Batch. Somebody by the name of Batch. Now, I don't know any more than that, but I know it was the old Batch farm. And that was about 1905. That, well, that would, it would be, yeah, yeah, because I was nine months old when we moved there. And then when did your mother die? What year? My mother was 62 years old when she died. And, uh... Held him up to the So that would have been in the twenties then, maybe? Yeah. Well, well we was not. We were fifty seven. Fifty six or fifty seven. <laughs> right, it uh, would have been the late 20s then. Yeah, yeah. And well, then your father yeah. sold the farm to Mr. Taylor? To Will Taylor. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and, and Will Taylor owned a farm right in the back of it and had an outlet too at the edge of our farm, and which was uh, a godsend to him, I mean, sitting uh, out on the road. And, uh, and then were the Basslers the across Basslers from The Basslers were on you? the opposite side of the road. They, they were on, in other words, where the hospital sitting. Yeah. That was Bassler Farm. And were they there when you, when your father owned yeah. uh -huh. your farm? The yeah, Basslers lived? We used to go there and steal watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell them. Of course, they never learned that, huh? <laughs> uh, we, well, my brother and I went out one day, got two great big watermelons that come out and went up the side of a real fence and sat down to eat them. <laughs> and they were they were cutting corn. I never will forget this. <laughs> and they come right straight out on top of us. We were sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did they pick corn in those days? They did was, they have? Because they cut it off with a corn cutter. Oh, by hand. And and chucks, and then they shucked it. Yeah. So it was all by hand. <laughs> didn't have equipment they got now. No. Yep. Well, now the house that you lived in, uh, did. It's Mr. torn down now. Did Mr. Kaler live there ever, or did he have a tenant? No, he never moved out there. He, he, or did he? he never moved out there, did he? No. no, he stayed back in the house he had in the back of it. I think he rented out the tenant. Yeah, he had rented out to the people that was employed, uh -huh. and then he shipped milk from there. They had a, we had a dairy farm. You had farm. a dairy, yeah. dairy uh -huh. farm? Yep. Did Mr. Kaler have a dairy? Yeah, he had dairy. a dairy farm in the back, and then also he... When he bought our farm, he moved all the dairy farm out here. Did a, then he shipped all the milk from out front. Yeah. Uh, well, then, where did you go to school? Uh, no school up at Elioke. Oh, did you go there? Uh -huh. At Elioke. And that's still a house, isn't that's it? That's a house now. But right. where I started was over top of the old Elioke store. Is that gone? That's gone. That's been torn down. That belonged to Miss Lizzie and Susie Lemper. And where did it sit in relation to Manor Lane? Uh, when you come out Manor Lane, right on the corner of Columbia Pike, there's one stone house. Yes. And then you come, then was the store and the school. The school was up on second floor. Going toward Ellicott City? Toward Ellicott City. It was on your left. It was next door, next to that stone house. Yeah, Miss, Miss Lizzie Lunscombe and Miss Annie Lunscombe and Miss Susie Lunscombe, three ladies. And they ran the store? They lived in the, they lived in the, in the uh, Stone House, and Miss Lizzie was school teacher. And she oh, taught school, and it was on the second floor, over top of the store. Uh, the school was. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Yes. 
Um, and where was the post office then? Uh, post office was. It was in the store. It was oh, was in it? that store, yes. Uh, well, then, did they build the the newer store across the road? The, I mean, the newer school. Then the newer school down down, which is down about. 300 yards farther down toward where um, where the veterinarian is there. Yes, Dr. Almost, Lewis. Yeah, Dr. Lewis, almost yeah. down to him. Yeah. And that's still there. That's still now there. You, but you didn't go there to school. I went or, there to school. Oh, you did. That education that I don't got, I got there. And the funny part of it is, when the 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 um, uh, parents was all trying to get a new school, and the the um, school board said they didn't have the money, didn't have the money. And finally, they agreed that they, if all the uh, parents would haul local stone and dig the basement and put the footing in, wall in, then they would put the building up on it. Exactly. And I helped haul stone for nothing but a kid, but I helped haul stone, put in the footing, and then went to school. <laughs> and what year would that have been then? Oh, my Lord. How, how far did you go to school? Seventh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. And then you would have been uh, 10, 11, 12, probably 12 or 13. 13 yeah. Yeah. And so that would have, you were born in 05, so that would have been 1920, no. Um, you were born in 5, and it would have been about 1917, 18. Somewhere yeah. Right at the end of World War I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's as far as you went to school. Yes, ma'am. If you had wanted to go to high school, you'd have had to gone to Ellicott City. Or Clarksville. Was there a Clarksville High Clarksville, School then? I, no, 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 no. There wasn't one then. No. But it wasn't long after that that no. they did, because my brother went there. About 1925, I think. Uh, somewhere <coughs> there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My um, brother went there to Clarksville. Do you remember when um, Owen Brown was the postmaster over? Mm -hmm. yeah. At Elio, oh, yeah, yeah. do you? Oh, yeah. You remember Owen Brown? Yes, ma'am. Well, and he lived down here on Cedar on, Lane. On Owen Brown Road. Yeah, that's I mean on Owen yeah, Brown. That's right. And yeah. his house is still there. No, I have a couple sale right now. Um, were you surprised when they named all these things for Mr. Brown? Was that? No, no. Uh, I'm, I was surprised at a lot of things they named. <laughs> 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 I can tell you that. <laughs> Where in the world they come up with all the names they, they've come up with? <laughs> I, I guess they got reasons for it, but I uh, don't make sense to me. Did you call Cedar Lane Cedar Lane? Yes, ma'am. That's been Cedar Lane ever since. Ever since you were a boy. Uh, since I moved there. Yeah. And it just was a farm road that went farm out road to um, Columbia 108 Pike. Columbia Pike. 108 it is now. Yeah. yeah that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we walked it from from there out to the over to school. Open school. Right. And it was a, uh, the new school, was that a two-room schoolhouse? No, ma'am, one room. That was one room with a basement under it. And did the Lithicums teach there, too? No, no. Miss, um, wait a minute now. Mrs. she was, uh, Ryan, married a witch. Miss Annie Ryan. And she married, uh, Edgar, Edgar, Edgar Witch. Okay, now let me ask you something else. Um, on down here, we're at the middle of Patuxen, at the river, at the end of Cedar Lane, uh, where the ruins are to the old mill. Yeah, uh-huh. Did you ever go down there as a boy? Yes, ma'am, many times. They used to be a grocery store there, too. Okay, uh, when you were a boy then, there was still a little community. Yes, ma'am. And they had a she post office? She made the other day. I think she used to live right in this first house that you were out here. Okay. And, uh, when you grew up then, right I here on... At the house? No, I didn't look at it, but I, uh, I'll look at it when yeah. I go out. Yeah, because you go out, it's on, if you turn right, be the first place on the right. That, that's where, where she grew. Did you call it Simpsonville down there? Simpsonville, yes, ma'am. And uh, was the mill in operation? Operation. They were ground, was ground uh, cracked corn and they ground flour and they made bran. And in the fall of the year, they had a cider mill and a crushed cider. Were there more buildings down there than there are now? Uh, uh, as far as I know, there wasn't any more. 
Uh, there was one building right back of the store. Used to be a road went up right up beside the mill. Uh -huh. And then you made a left turn, and the store was on your right. And then you went back a little farther back, and there was people by the name of Salmon they lived there. Salmon? Yes, ma'am. Now, uh, I don't know whether that house is still there or not. I don't think so. Well, did you cross the river in a different place? Yes, ma'am. Up the you, river? You, you oh, were uh, up the river. You went across up by... Uh, the, the road used to, instead of coming down and passing the mill, there was a road that cut across behind the store and come on down and then cross the river. Did you ever hear that there was a bigger house down here on the corner uh, that burned uh, at Cedar Lane and 30, Old 32 Guilford Road? Uh, there's a white frame house that sits on the corner. There's a little spring house. Before you... Uh, the one at the 32 and and Guilford uh, and Cedar Lane. Cedar Lane. <coughs> There's a, a white house that has a little spring house sitting there. Oh, the oh, oh, that's where Mr. John Hoggart lived, the man who run the store back in Seville. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's did just this side of the mill there. Yeah. Uh huh. Did you ever hear talk that there had been a bigger house that burned there and belonged did. to the Simpsons? No, ma'am, I never did. I talked to Miss Simpson. Uh, a few years ago, and she told me that when she was a baby, yeah. the house burned. That Could was have, there. Been, well, that's been ahead of my time. But yes, that was yeah. in the 1890s or uh -huh. so. I didn't know whether people talked mm -hmm. about that. There was a post office at Simpsonville when you were growing up. Is that where you got your mail? No, no, our mail comes from Elio. Elio. Mm -hmm. Did you have to go get it, or did uh, they deliver No, it, it was delivered down Cedar Lane. Uh, it was down Cedar Lane. And then, it's very funny. Uh, her sister and brother-in-law lived just this side of, um, well, it's on the left-hand side, right after you go through a little strip of woods here going up to the land. And uh, he, he, in the period of time he lived there, when he first moved there, his post office was Elio. Oh. Then they reversed it. And uh, they didn't have a post, uh, post office in Simpsonville, but they put one over in Appleton and called it Simpsonville Post Office. Right. And they reversed it, and then he lived in Simpsonville. His mail come up to the land instead of coming down. Uh, he uh, lived there uh, quite, a, I don't know how many years, too, and they changed it, and the mail come from Clarksville down to the lane, so he was in Clarksville. He didn't move uh, at all, right? Uh, and never moved. <laughs> and, and then they changed. Then it, then it, then it. mail was called still for a while. Yeah, yeah. Then, then he, um, uh, was changed, and the mail come from Ellicott City. Oh. It was five different places while I lived there and never moved. And that was up here on Cedar Lane? Yes, ma'am, right, right, uh, before you get up to the hospital on the left-hand side. Oh, my. <coughs> 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 uh, as you go up Cedar Lane, there's a stop and go light before, before you get up to the hospital. And if you turn right, you'd be on Hickory Ridge. Yes. Hickory Ridge. Mm -hmm. By just this side of that road is a brick house on the left-hand side. And that's where he lived? When that, he no, lived that's there. where uh, where Will Taylor's wife lives now, the Taylor oh, that see. bought our farm. I see. She built that and lives there. And the next house down is where Bill Moore lived, her brother-in-law and sister. I see. <coughs> um, uh, let me ask you about um, when you lived at Oakland Mills. Uh, uh, was it called Oakland Mills? Was that the school? It was called Oakland Mills. And there was uh, the little white house there where the Wicks blacksmith shop yeah, was. Yeah. And then the two little stone houses. And the two little stone houses. Well, that one of the stone houses now is a great big one. They've been uh, added on to yeah. What, when you lived there, were they white people or black people that lived in the stone? Black house? people. How about in the White House, the little uh, whips? They were whips, white. They were white people. Yeah. Right. And then, um, how, were there any other houses along there? You and the whips and the two little stone houses. It, it used to be two little stone houses and one little wooden frame house. And the frame house was torn down when the people built rebuilt onto the stone house. Next to which is there, uh, they tore the little frame house down. Is that a white or black family? Black, it was all black. So it was mainly a little black community right. when, you, it, yeah. when you lived there. Yeah, it was William uh, Thomas and uh, Old Thomas. Thomas and then uh, Joshua Hammond and 
And the third one, up the way his name was, oh, Jones, John Jones. There was a John Jones and a William Thomas and Joshua Hammond. They lived in those three houses. Had they lived there, like, uh, had they grown up there? Were their families from there? In their old avenue, that's a long side of my They were old people when you moved yes, in there? Yes, ma'am, all of them were. And mm -hmm. then when they died, uh, did black people move in no, there? No, that's when the white people bought, the, Mr. Gales, Timothy Gales bought the stone, one of the stone houses, and tore down the wooden family, okay. and built this big end on to it there. And then Gales Lane is on down? That's farther down. That's where one of his sons built in there, Mr. Gales. Mr. Gales passed away a year or so ago. Um, he was running an antique shop or something in there in that big house. I, in the stones, one of the stones. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, Mr. Gales had a big house. When he first come there, he didn't house. No, when he first come around here, he said he was over on the opposite side of, the, of 29. There was a house over there? Uh, the not right, right on back, way back somewhere else. I, I forget now really what house he was in. It wasn't Oakland Manor? No, ma'am, no. When, when you were living at Oakland Mills, was there any sign of the old mill on the other side of the road? No, any ruins? No, ma'am. Only thing over there was a, just a, a hollowed out place like an old mill race used the to go down there. Okay. Yeah. But there was nothing, nothing no, there. No, no bricks or? Nothing, no, ma'am. Nobody ever, you never heard anybody talk about Oakland Mills? Oh, I heard them talk about it, but uh, there's no sign of any building or anything there. Now, like your father, he hadn't ever used Oakland Mills. No, 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 gone. no. He was over on Cedar Lane, Cedar Lane on the other side. Well, where would you take your grain? In Ellicott City? No. We or you had, you had dairy cows. I, oh, we had dairy cows. And you didn't? We had, they, they, up there when they had the dairy cows, uh, there was a man come in the ground to feed right there. Oh, he did? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Come in with a big truck. Oh, you turn around twice, he's grounded and gone. I see. Um, then when you bought Open Mills, it was no longer at school, the house there? No, ma'am. It had been closed for a couple of years. And uh -huh. you bought it because you wanted to live uh, there? I wanted to. Uh, I was trying looking for a cheap home. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. And you bought it from the county commissioner? I bought it. Uh, actually, uh, it was from the county commission, but I tell Mr. Taylor Rogers had a sale of it. I, see. I bought it from him. He was a, an attorney. Uh, he was a um, real estate broker. Oh, I yeah. see. Philip Rogers. And then, what kind of work were you doing at that time? At that, that time, I was driving a truck for Hyde County Road Department. And your father also. He was a road on? superintendent. He, yes. And what period of time was that in that he was the road superintendent? Well, when I got married. But in 25, I was driving my truck, and I drove it for between that and with a road gang. I had first one thing, then the other. Uh, it was just about 15 years or something like that I was with the road department. So just before World War II or so? Yeah. 25. Mm -hmm. And was your father living and working on the road? No, no. Time? My father, uh, I guess about... I guess I worked for the new man maybe three years or something like that. With a, they uh, see his job was appointment. Yes. And then if you uh, if you was in the right politics, you uh, you got appointed again. If right. you were, if wasn't in the right politics, you was on the other side. <laughs> and that's what happened to him. He, he was, uh, but you, you stayed on. I stayed on for about three more years, and uh, the county had a big car and run up all the equipment. Where Everything. was that? That was at Elio. They had a building up there on uh, where the beer tavern sitting there now, right, right at uh, on the pike there. After you pass Beaver Brook, going up the pike okay. on the left hand side, there's a beer tavern, and on the right hand, on the left hand side going up, going towards Clarksville. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. And uh, uh, right beside of that, the county had a building there that would keep four or five trucks in it and all the equipment, picks, shovels, and everything was in that building. And uh, uh, we went to work the long corner one morning. We come back that evening, didn't have a thing in the world but the truck that was in. And burn it, it, everything burned up. And the uh, boss man said they didn't have any money to start over right then. It, it, then it was about a week before Christmas. It was almost Christmas. So he said, you're just going to have to lay off. So they laid off, and uh, 
That was right in the Depression. There was no jobs in any place to get, mm. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I didn't leave a stone unturned. And I had a, the, or the famous on the open schoolhouse, and I had the wife and two children, and they had to eat. And, uh, yeah. And uh, they, I, I waited around for the county to start up something, and and uh, at that time, Billy Owens and Mr. Ed Clark was in business together. Clark and Owens. At the hardware store. At the hardware uh -huh. store down in Depot Yard. Yes, uh-huh. I went down there one day, and uh, I said, uh, I mean, I'd known Billy for years, and I said, Mr. Billy, I've got to have a job. And he said, Wallace, I haven't got any job for you. I don't remember any. <laughs> <Just playing for you. laughs> and uh, I, I said, I'm out of work, and uh, I said, I, I got these. And he said, uh, I can give you three days on coal truck. I said, well, that's a job. And uh, so I worked for three days, and when the third day was up, I didn't let Billy see me. I was back there the fourth day. <laughs> and, and, and I stayed there. I, I stayed there, but uh, I only worked on the coal truck for probably the rest of that winter, I guess. And then farm machinery started, and I took over the farm machinery and of it, and then the mechanics and worked on that. And with the, with the, Clark and Owens? With Clark and Owens. Delivered it and set it up and demonstrated it and, and worked with that. And I was there almost 11 years. And they was, you know, Ed Clark and Billy was getting ready to separate. They were one, one, one way and one the other. And uh, I didn't hardly know where to go. So uh, I, uh, Went over to Donut. Oh. And uh -huh. the machine shop. Right. And uh, wife said it's the only time that I ever said we'd been married that she knew when I was going to be home for dinner. But Had regular <laughs> hours, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, we. Uh, what, what year was that then that you went over there? Geez, I can't remember the details now. Awesome. It, uh, now, did you work with the state roads up till 1940? I mean, county roads till 1940? I worked with the county roads. Up until uh, I started driving a truck for the county uh, in March, and I wasn't 16 years old to get my license till the following September. That was 1920, then. But but you went along uh, with the um, with the um, uh, with with uh, without license then you didn't have no problem. Right. And then I finally I got my license, and I was with the county. It was just about uh, somewhere around 15, 16 years from now. And then you worked um, in the early 30s when the Depression was coming out. That's when you worked with Mr. Owens and Mr. Clark. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. And then after that, in the late 30s, you went to Donut I went to the Donut, and, uh -huh. uh, and uh, I got along fine there, but I didn't. I've never worked all cooked up before. and. Uh, they did some things I didn't like. It was an old man there. Uh, at any age, you could do anything. And if you were a new man, you had to walk the chalk line. And I, I didn't think it was fair. So I just, I went to him one day and gave my notice they're going to quit. And uh, they uh, wanted to know what was wrong. And my boss said, my foreman was old man. I told him. And uh, so the next thing I know, I was called up to the main office. So then he wanted to know what was all about. Uh -huh. And uh, I told him uh, just how I felt, and uh, well, he said, uh, uh, suppose, at that time you were supposed to your job. He said, suppose I won't give you a release. He said, you know, uh, you're working on government work, and he said, uh, it's, uh, you're supposed to do your job. I said, I'll come here without a release, and I'll leave without one. And uh, he said, no, I'll give you one. And uh, so I left, come on out, and then come up the street. And I think she asked me to stop and get a loaf of bread. Because I went in Francis Market, you see down there on Main Street. Uh, and they, were, they owned the place that Ray Dawn uh, oh, okay. was running for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Ray worked for them. And uh, <coughs> I went, went uh, in to get the loaf of bread and I met Mr. Frank Curtis. And he said, uh, I haven't seen you since you left down the store. What are you doing? I said, I'm unemployed. And he said, I, he said what do you mean? I, he, I said, I went over to Donut, but I don't like the things they do. And, and I wasn't happy, and I'm not going to stay. And he said, what are you going to do? I said, I have no idea. 
I said, I just told you, I'm unemployed. <laughs> and and uh, so we talked a few minutes, and I went on uh, home. When I got home, wife said, uh, Mary Pettigrew called him and wants to talk to you. And uh, said, for you to call him as soon as you got here. So I called him up, and he said, uh, uh, is what I just heard about you too? I said, I don't know. You have know, heard a lot of things about me. <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, you unemployed? I said, yeah. He said, come down here. I want to talk to you. So I went down. I went to work for him. And what was what business was he in then? He had a hardware store and a, a appliance store and paint, anything. You name it, we had it. Where was that? That was on the main street right where, wait, let me get from, right where, um, Ferdinand was running the lunch room. That burned down. Yeah. Right. That was Petticord. That was Petticord's yeah. hardware and the plant store. And you and stayed there then? For I stayed there for 11 years. Uh -huh. And then he decided he was going to Florida. He wasn't going to stay up here. And uh, he started just closing out everything. So next thing I know, I was looking for a job. For another job. <laughs> yeah. I was there 11 years. And, uh, and, uh, that was in the 50s then, wasn't it, that he, yeah, he closed yeah. that? Mm -hmm. And uh, Mrs. Kirk was working down to Taylor's. She lived in the Brown Shingle House on Woodrow Street there, right beside of where I live. Oh, in fact, okay. I sold her the Brown Shingle House. And uh, uh, she come home one evening and said, Mr. Phillips said, if you haven't got a job, he'd like to talk to you. So I went down and I hired to him. I told him I was going to work 10 years, then I was going to retire. <laughs> and when the 10 years was up, he said, oh, you're in good health and everybody's happy. Don't talk about quitting. <laughs> and uh, so I said, I'll work another year. And so I worked another year, another year, and for the next thing I know, it was that 30 years. Yes, oh my heavens. <laughs> that was a long 10 years. Long 10 years, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when there was the fire in Ellicott City that burned out where Taylor's is? Wasn't there a fire that yes, burned? Yes, it was. Yeah. That I, I don't remember. That was a hit. I mean, I should remember it, but I wasn't connected there at the time. And you didn't go into Ellicott City that much? No, not, not that, at that time, no. It was probably about the time you got married, sometime in the Fa 20s. That's right. Yeah, because Mr. Ike Taylor rebuilt after the fire. Right. And uh, it was probably just about that time. And it was a pretty bad one. It yes, it was. about a lot of buildings along so there. That, it was a large fire. Let me ask you whether the name Hilton means anything to you. Uh, Mr. Ed Hilton? No, it was a community along the Columbia Road coming out of Ellicott City, uh, where Mr. Whiskey's uh, funeral home is, um, and the Shell gas station, uh, Amico gas station. Do you remember what it looked like before 29 was cut, you know, a new 29 came through? Yeah, uh, roughly. On the, on the, uh, if you was, uh, uh, was going down the clump, old clumsy pike and made a turn right on Montgomery Road, mm -hmm. right on the left-hand side was a two-story white house there Mr. Titworth lived in. Is it a frame house? Frame house. Okay. And he lived in that. That's where the Shell Station is now. The, uh, uh, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right where the Shell Station is, that's correct. And they tore that down? They tore that down and uh, built that shell station there and diagonally across or straight across in front of it was a brown shingled house and that's where kenny riding lived okay and now then the riding liquor store was they never had a liquor store there they had a beer joint but no liquor okay uh, that was that was on the opposite side right, yeah, right. that's right on okay. the opposite side of the road that comes from new 29 in there yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they closed that when mm -hmm. we came out in the 60s. They, State Highway made them close it or something because they bought yeah, it right away mm -hmm. through there. Okay, so there was a, a brown house where they, that closed up gas station is. Uh, matter of fact, it would be right almost joining into the edge of, uh, of uh, the Whistler's funeral home now. And that's to be on that same side. Oh, it was on the other side of Columbia Pike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was thinking it was on the other side of Montgomery Road. No, yeah. no, no, Tintworth okay. was on the other side of Montgomery Road, on the left-hand side of Montgomery Road. If you was going toward Elkridge, on the left-hand side okay. would have been Tintworth. Okay. 
Now, when, was there a blacksmith shop in there at all that you can remember? There was a blacksmith shop, uh, never operated in my time, but all, it would have been almost across in front of, of um, Whiskey, Colonel Home there. And it would have been on, if, if you come out Montgomery Road, turn right and start Delicate City, it would have been on your right hand side. It was a uh, old, old, real old home there, and it used to do some blacksmith work. I don't know how much he ever did. Did they and tear my, that house down? The house is all torn down. Peyton Patterson lived there for years. Patterson? Yes, ma'am. Colored fella. Peyton Patterson. Okay, there was, on the old maps, there was the name of Ray, R A Y, Gustav Ray, Ray. and Davis. Uh, in there, and that area was called Hilton. You never no, heard it no, called Hilton? No, Did no. anybody call it Helltown? Did they ever? I used to go to Fulton. That's what you used to call Helltown. Okay, did you ever hear of that area along Columbia Road being called Helltown? No, I can't say that I have. Okay, you probably were just that much further uh -huh. away from it mm -hmm. that you didn't, uh, the old records talk about it being Hilton and Helltown. Is that right? But I figured there had to have been some old houses that were torn down. There were two old houses in there. There's a Peyton Patterson lived in one of them, and this old shop part was there, and a part of a house on to the end of that. But I don't know who lived in that. I don't really know. Right, okay. And um, And then between those two old houses and the Titsworth house was Emil Clashes. Is that the stone house that, that is standing there? You know, there's an old stone house. No, no, Still. no, that's, that's where Betty Eckloff Bet lives. Betty, Betty uh, Chambers. Chambers, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. That, no, that was always there, That has been there ever since I can remember. Right, that's yeah. about the oldest house left along there. Along there. That's, that's correct, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but then when you came from uh, along the Columbia Pike and you turned at Bloom's Corner and you followed the Columbia Road into Ellicott City, that's the way you came? That's the way we're coming out the city. city. Yes, ma'am. And when you lived at Oakland Mills, you came down uh, uh, what was called old, Columbia... Old Columbia Road. Old Columbia yeah. Road. Uh-huh. And that was a dirt road? That was a dirt road for years after how much dust we used to get. <laughs> <laughs> the, dust, the dust from cars that we did it. <laughs> now, but you couldn't go all the way down to Washington, D.C down the Columbia Road then, could you? Because it didn't go. Uh, I, I don't know what it wound up to be when you, before you got into Washington, but uh, there was some means of a straight travel in there because people used to come out here from Washington with their horse and buggies and, and stay on a... But they came out um, through Ashton and Sandy Spring, didn't they? Out no, they used to come out that way because, because uh, up here... Uh, wait a minute, let me get my squares away. Uh, where Miss Annie Ryan we're talking about, Annie Wicks, the school teacher, okay. where she uh, was raised, is on the corner of Owen Brown Road uh -huh. and the old Columbia piece, the little short piece of road in mm -hmm. there, all right, just as you went in off of, uh, of what would be Owen Brown Road now, you'd make a dip down right there on the left-hand side. And that's where a lady by the name of Baldwin, Mrs. Baldwin lived there. And she used to take in people who come from Washington over here and horse and buggies and things and keep them overnight and feed the horse. And uh, so to tell me, that was a little ahead of my time, but, uh -huh. but that's what they say. But then the state put the road through and hard surfaced it yeah. in the 50s or so, or late 40s when... I don't remember how long it has been now. It's been quite a while. And uh, they extended it on down then to Burtonville. And That's right, Burtonville. But if you ever went to Washington, did you ever go to Washington? Oh, not often. Got lost every time I went. We really couldn't find okay. way back. How did you go? Did you go down I Route One? Twenty nine. No, I did you? Twenty nine. Down the dirt road or? Oh no, uh, I never went to Washington back in those back days. Back in those days. But after yeah. twenty nine was built, I yeah. used to go in and then get on the Beltway and go around <laughs> where I wanted to go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Today it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, you know, I know it's so. You, uh. Used to go right through Washington. It, it, it still, still does. Now. Yeah, it goes straight through Washington now. Yeah. Um, so, and now you you grew up on Cedar Lane. Uh huh. Did you go to school at Helio? No, I, I went to school uh, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. And did you go beyond the seventh grade? I went to seventh grade. Seventh grade. You didn't go to high school. No, I didn't. And after you stopped going to school in seventh grade, what did you do? Did you work on the your parents? I stayed home until. Until you got married. Until I got married. You you didn't work for people. No, I didn't. She was the cook. Oh, I did. He's run the girls out of job. We worked. We worked on a farm a lot because uh, we were two of us girls. We didn't have any brothers. We helped so much. You did help. Uh, you had a farm here, too, on Cedar. This, this, where's this house out here where she lives? That, it that has, has a big farm in there. Oh, I yes, see. No, yeah. Is that developed now? Oh, yeah. Two-thirds of it. Is that Rayburn? Is that? Rayburn, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But your father, did he have dairy cattle, too? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. He used to raise beef cattle. Oh, I see. Oh, beef cattle. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, he just raised. He raised beef cattle, huh? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I don't mean a whole lot. She milked her own use. Yeah, you had milk for your own use. Did you uh, have uh, corn? Yeah. Uh, grow fields of corn? Uh-huh. Corn and uh, and uh, hay and uh, and then they used to uh, grow strawberries, a lot of strawberries. They used to do a lot of truck farming, like yeah. cabbage and things like that for market. And so you, it was. Uh, Generally, like your friends generally went through seventh grade, and that was the most education that. Right, that's right. That was that in time. The farm children got. Uh, that's, had. What, that's all I got. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. I got a cook of 18 years younger. Who we are. Um, she did. From living right here. From living right here. Living right here. Mm-hmm. Now how would she have gotten to Parksville? By a, did they have a bus or? The she first was, year or two. She rode with your brother for a while. She? The first year or two, she rode with my brother. And there was a bus, I think. And then they put a bus on. Right. And the bus come right by her door, and uh, and and picked her up and went on up uh, Cedar Lane, and I picked up and picked them up as they went by. When you worked on the roads, were almost all the roads dirt? All dirt. All dirt. Yes, sir. Out here. And what was when your I job? First, when I first started on the road, we didn't have any any blacktop roads at all. They were all dirt. Yeah. What would you do? Uh, oh, well, uh, John Brown called up and said there's a bad hole in the road over here. People are getting hung up. So you went out there and you drained it if there was water in it. And then you hauled truckloads of stone and fixed it. And if uh, it wasn't big enough to go... Uh, so Frederick or somewhere to get a big truckload of stone. You just went in somebody's field and picked up some stones. And Is that right? And just did everything by hand. Did it the hard way. Right. Well, now were people? This is in the 20s. Did a lot of people have automobiles, or were they mostly horse and buggy? Yeah, right? Horse and buggy and wagons. Yes. I remember my father bought his first automobile in 1924. Is that right? Did you learn to drive it? No, I didn't. The Leola uh, did. Then. Yeah. Yeah, she had two, three sisters in the old car. You never did learn to drive? I never did drive a car. <laughs> did you drive a horse and buggy? Did you no, I was scared of the car. <laughs> my older sister used to drive a horse and buggy. She would take uh, all the lessons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you ride a horse? As a little girl or as a young girl? Oh, we used to once in a while get on those work horses and ride in by all the dead But when you went shopping, like as a girl, uh, did you go to Ellicott City no. to go shopping? And you would go by automobile or would your father drive a team? Uh, well, there wasn't no automobile. As far as I know, I don't know. You, you used to do a lot of your shopping. Go, you used to go to Mrs. John Argelard. Would run the grocery store and she'd go down shopping. She'd stop by, come on, girls, go for a ride. And yeah, but, uh, our grocery bought it the old mill store down the street. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you bought your grocery store. Now, when, when you would buy your clothes or your shoes, you went in Dallas. Maybe in order to steal a little buckle. And then where would they would send it through the mail? Yeah. Even then? Mm-hmm. And deliver it? Oh, we went down the street. 
Yeah. Did you ever go into Baltimore to go shopping? No, not so often that bad. Then would you go in shopping to Baltimore? She would. She'd take streetcar in, not oh. me. I'm not a shopper. <laughs> then you would take the streetcar in rather than the train. You never took the train into Baltimore? No, not no. at all. Um, they worked in the mill over in Alberton, your relatives? Yeah, with Alberton Mills. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Were they cousins or? They were cousins, my, my mother. Of your mother. What was their name? Do you know the last name? Fork. Fork. Okay. Um, Russell Fork. Do, uh, um, do you remember, like, the name Hilton? The community or anything called Helltown over there? Hilton. Hilton. H I L T O N. Or oh, Helltown. Between, between uh, Montgomery Road and Ellicott City. How about the house? Do you know the house that Hart Koss put the candles in the window yeah. over there? Yeah. When you were, when, you know, when other people had it before the Hart Koss, what was it? Just a home? Just a home. Was it always fixed up nice, or did it get to be kind of run down? Do you remember? No, it was always very, very neat and very nice taken care of. Mr. Ed Clark lived there for yeah. a long time. Yeah. And then, uh... Now that, was that E.T. Clark's father? Yes, ma'am. Okay. E.T.'s father. Uh-huh. Okay. Then, uh, Mr. Harry Paulette and his family moved there for a while. Um, Frank Paulette and Harry and... Okay, now there's Mary Parlett is still in Ellicott City. Uh, there's a Mary Parlett that lives up on Church Road. Yeah, Do uh, Mary Dorsey. She was a Dorsey. Right. Now was yeah. she married to one of these Parlets that you're talking yes, about? Yes, ma'am. She was married to Harry. To Harry. Mm -hmm. And so she lived there in that stone house? No, she never lived there. After he got married, they went up. They, I don't think they ever moved. The one time when they moved up on up Church to, Road. Up to there. Uh huh. Um, I wondered the other day if she was still living. She. I think she is. She's got, she was uh, all crippled up last time I saw her hands all bent up with arthritis. I haven't heard that she isn't living, uh -huh. so I think she, but I don't know if she's still in that house. Yeah. Now, she was raised, when we lived in Oakland, she we was right in that fork of the road of Columbia Pike and the old Oakland Road. Mm -hmm. uh, Oakland Mills Road went back, they called it, and she was raised back there, what was Sewell's farm, where Sewell's Peach Orchard. Oh, that's, she was. That's her home place. Well, that's right. She's a Dorsey. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, well, when you lived in Oakland, what was in Oakland Manor? It was falling down. Oh, it was? Yes, ma'am. Nobody lived there? They, uh, for a while, for years, it was empty. And then uh, a man by the name of A.H. Ryan come out here from Washington in Depression time and bought uh, they, I don't know how many acres of ground, 1,000, 2,000 acres of ground, and the manor. Uh -huh. Bought the whole works, and then he started to hire and help, and cleaning it up, and started to rebuild in the house. There was, I, as near as I remember now, I think there was about 14 fireplaces, marble fireplaces in that house. They and they, yeah. they, the people that pulled them out, stole them, and robbed them, and uh, Oh, they were which way. So I don't know what he'd ever put in the place of them. But, there was uh, a story that that when they redid the White House or something, that he got some of the fireplaces from there, some, some know, of the I mantles. Yeah, is that right? That's could what be. one of the stories goes. Yeah. The lot and bought a whole lot of property, and so none of us had any money. And he said, it went up and went up and went up. And he says, it got up to the point where I said to him one day, it's time for us to sell. And he says, they said, no. And uh, he says, well, I'm going to sell. So he said, they bought me out. And he says, they're broke, and I got the money. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to know the right time. Are you reselling all that? Oh, I think. <laughs> he hasn't said anything bad. <laughs> <laughs> haven't, haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Maybe Lou Darrow ha and Elwood would haven't heard all these stories. <laughs> Thought maybe someday they'd like to hear yeah, it too, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then back there where Oakland, there was a house called Bleak House. Um, another stone house. Um, one of them, Mr. Gaither at one time lived in, in, um, in Oakland, I mean, back in the Civil War time. And then there was another big stone house back there. And I wondered if you ever remember There that. was two or three stone houses farther back, but, and they've, they've all been rebuilt and people live in them. Right, now they were down near the barn. Down near the barn, yeah. yes ma'am, well, back was, in spring. Right, this was um, not near, you know, those working buildings. Uh, this was a stone house which they've they've left only the ruins of it there on Rain Dream Hill, and uh, but it was a big stone house and and nobody seems to know much about it. Uh -huh. And I just wondered whether you remember. Uh, I, uh, I I think I guess I know what house you're talking about, but uh, now, that they had let them go down. There wasn't even a roof on them. Right. That was gone in time. But he rebuilt every one of them. Oh, did he? Had them all fixed up. And then he built a big tool shed out in front of him there on the edge of a field. But did he uh, farm then, eventually? He called himself farming, but he, he was uh, a screwball. I mean, he didn't uh, know it. If he said, I, I decide today I'm going to dig a hole out there, he wanted to dug today. He didn't want it tomorrow. Is that right? And he <laughs> could pay to have it done. He could huh? pay to have it done, yes. And do you remember when the Supreme Court justice fought? Yeah, uh, Vanda Vanda. Right. My brother. And her sister, who married her sister, worked for him as farm manager for him. Oh, I see. Yeah. And now, was that a summer place for the for the chief justice? Um, no, they stayed out there most all the time. Oh, did they? They, li and they lived in the little house that Barriers used to live in. Did they put him a barrier. And the house that your brother? They built him a new house. Um, and is that still there? That's that's still there. It was last time I was over there, and it was right next to the. If you went in, you you went in, go down to the south entrance and go in, and go right on up the hill, and it was on the left hand side. The little house that Mr. Van Van lived in uh -huh. was on the left hand side, and then right in the back of that is a two story house that they built for my brother. I see. And then on the right hand side is a big barn there they built there, and I I don't know they have. Signs painted all on the side of it, or something other like a circus, or something other. I don't know. What I it think is. it maybe that's used for the Meriwether Pavilion. Is that, that, that that's that's the word I was trying to think of. Right. Yes. Um, what did your brother do for Mr. Vanny Bennett? Did he, he run the farm? Run the farm. Okay. He, they raised home, and uh, they he tended to the plow, having the plowing done, and the mowing, and the grass, and. The, Hey, make hay and cram everything. Corn crop. How many acres did they buy? I did know. Did that? Did they buy that from Ryan? No, ma'am. They bought that from. Uh, wait a minute now. Value didn't own it anymore. Uh, huh? Value. No, Value didn't own it anymore. They bought it from uh, sawmill man. What was Jarvis? Thomas Jarvis. I see. Thomas Jarvis. He come in and and and. Uh, and I bought it and cut all the timber off of it. And now, then. Wait a minute. Mr. Jarvis bought it from him, didn't he? Did all your slides to, to work with Mr. Jarvis? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jarvis bought it and cut, cut the timber off of it. I don't know, maybe maybe I am backward on that. But Mr. Jarvis, uh, uh, he owned it for a while, Thomas Jarvis, who was a timber man. And when he owned it, he cut all anything off of it big enough to look like a log, he cut it off. And so, where was the sawmill? Uh, he hauled it to, uh, West Virginia? to uh, no, down, down, just go down Monroe Street, out next to the waterfront there, somewhere else. That's in where all the, um, in Baltimore. You said that you were born in Fulton. Yes, ma'am. And is that where your father was born, or my father? Where was he? I guess he was born in Fulton. And like your grandfather, who came over from the old country? Was it your grandfather? Simpson. Simpson. Somebody by the name of Simpson. Simpson Wallach. No, you mean, no, or? his name was Simpson, and my my uh, grandfather married a Simpson. 
Oh, I see. And uh, what Simpson, what they, they couldn't speak English, some of the courtrooms. They were, uh, were they German? Simpson? Uh, I don't know what they were. They were two. Well, Wallach, is that German? That's, uh, I guess, I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Gore is Irish, but I guess Wallach is Irish Dutch. <laughs> so you don't know whether your grandfather came over from Europe? The Wallach, when the Wallach came over. No, no, I, I do not know. Did you know your grandfather? I knew my grandfather. Now, did he speak English without yeah, an accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was born. He here. was a big, big, heavy set man, short and big around. Was he a farmer? He was a farmer. In Fulton? Yeah, in Fulton, right, right on the corner of John Hopkins Road and Pendle School Road. And, you, and uh, then your father left there and came? And come over here. When he got married? Yes, ma'am. Well, no, he, was, he worked there about a year or so on the farm. And then lived in the tenant house. Uh huh. On the Kaler farm. What? On the Kaler farm? No, no, over the Fulton, over that farm. Oh, I see. That, yeah. Your father lived over there. Over there, yeah, mm -hmm. when he first got married. Uh huh. And, yeah. Uh, and then what happened to the Wallach farm over there? Uh, that was sold to people by the name of after the grandfather died. That was sold to the people by the name of Souther. It's O U D E R. I think it's better. Uncle Cecil was there. Uncle Cecil never bought it. Uncle Cecil was farming it for Grandpa. Uncle Cecil married a grandfather's sister. Was that Cecil Simpson? No, or no, Sim but he's getting close. Okay. <laughs> he married my father's sister. My father, yeah, he married my father's sister, Aunt Rosa. Yeah. Was Cecil his first name? Uh, no, his last name was Cecil. Milton yeah. Cecil. Oh, okay. Milton Cecil. And he, okay. he married Rosalie Wallace. Okay. But after, after my grandfather died, he didn't buy it. He, he moved out. Because there, there was a man I met by the name of Cecil Simpson. Yeah, well, he's old and dead, but at home now. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. How about his sister that he lived with? She passed away. Did she? Yeah. They lived over... Um, On the Cherry, uh, that nursery. Paul Shop Road back then. Yeah. yeah. Simpson, Simpson Road, I think they call it now. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I, she's the lady who told me about the house down here burning when she was a baby. Is that right? Yeah. So you, you were know, related uh, to a Simpson? Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Your, your I don't grandmother know, I, was a Simpson, or? My, wait a minute now. Billy Simpson and Billy Simpson's mother. It's too far back. I, I've lost track. I don't okay. want to tell you something they didn't do. Okay. But uh, but they uh, but uh, always uh, uh, Billy Simpson was Cecil Simpson's father. I see. And I always thought uh, he was always called by our family cousin Billy Simpson. Now why I don't know. Well, oftentimes people I just think. Cousin, cousin, I, guess, right? uh, so I say somewhere is yeah. a fitted in there. Yeah. Now Cecil Simpson, you say, is in the home in Gaithersburg. Gaithersburg. And uh, is he, was he a bachelor? Did no, he ever bachelor, marry? bachelor, been married three times. Oh, he was, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he yeah. was living with his sister, I guess yeah, that's why I that's thought right. maybe. Yeah, his last, his wife, last wife he got married, that didn't pan out, they separated. So, but Miss Simpson never married. Ms. No, Laura. she never was married, no. Right. okay. Because ah. Cecil is an old county name, too. Oh, yeah. The last name of Cecil. That's right. Yeah. And he got that from another member of the family, you know, the Cecil as his first name. That's right, yeah. That's uh -huh. unusual. Um, well, yeah. I don't want to wear you out and you're going to... You're not going to wear me, I... <laughs> I like to sit down and hash over these things. Well, I, I think it's interesting to uh, to talk about them and to... Uh, now, when you worked on the roads, you talked about being out at Long Corner. Yeah. Uh, you would go out just wherever there was a problem? Anywhere there was a problem. That's and way out. Was in long at Long Corner, yeah. way out there, oh yeah. And wherever, wherever, in the spring of the year, you had a big road grader that you went along and opened up all the ditches, like with, uh, of course, uh, with the mud roads, they got filled come up. along and mud got splashed out and they got filled up, so you pulled that back up in the road and then you leveled it down and dragged it down and got smooth. And you, you had fun to do with what, what money we had to spend and what help we had and what equipment we had then. Right. Now, did you, when when you went out to these roads, did they call, the, were, did most of the roads have names? Oh, or yeah. Every road had a name. It did. 
And we had to fill out a chart. What were we walked that work every day and what we did. I see. And how many would there be on a crew that you would be working with? Generally, if you were if you was working with a, a gang and something that could be done by hand, you had six men I see. in the crew. And you how would you travel by these trucks? A little with a small truck. Uh -huh. You'd have a, like a pickup or a, or, a, or a, a little truck with a dump body on it or something. So if you need to do stones, you could pick them up and haul them. Or something. But you started doing that when you were about 15. And I started uh, in, in March, and I wasn't 16 until the following September. But you were driving the truck? Yes, ma'am. Were you? First job we ever did, we unloaded cinders at Ellicott City and hauled them up on Cedar Lane. Oh, my. Well, now, did, um, um, when I, I wanted to ask you, um, when you went out to work on the road, um, you were just repairing them, and yep. they were all dirt. Do you remember when the state highway started hard surfacing some of the roads? Were you still working? The, well, the, the, uh, the county started uh, resurfacing them, uh, just about the time that my father uh, uh, left the road department. Uh -huh. And uh, then they got to uh, hauling gravel, which uh, was down on what was known as Morris Hackler's gravel pit, down on the Washington Boulevard. And, uh, and it's where they mix blacktop now down there, mm -hmm. just before you get down 32, going down right one. Okay. And, uh, well, when we started there, uh, hauling gravel from there, when you couldn't get a truck off the boulevard, it was that close to the road, and it just kept working way back in there. And there was a lot of good sandy gravel in there, and you take them out and put them in with that mud and work, work them in, and when you got where you had pretty much all gravel, then you put a coat of tar on it. Oh, I see. And uh, if you tarred it down and rolled it good and tight, it would stay there unless you had too rough a winter. Uh -huh. If you had too rough a winter, it would freeze for rays of heat. Were those just special roads that you did that? Well, too? they did the main road first, the main. some of the main roads. Like first. the Columbia Road, or uh, was that a state road? No, that was state road. As a matter of fact, the county did tar the Columbia Road before it was taken over by 29, before the state took it over. Did people so. have, that lived near the road, did they have to pay for the work on there? No, ma'am. No, it was no, all... No, your taxes paid. Your taxes paid for that. Uh, do you, when your time, do you remember that there used to be paupers and there would be people that the county paid for? I've that? heard them talk of that, but I never experienced any of that. That was maybe no. four years ago. I had right the present time, I thought I was going to be in line. Probably <laughs> 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 uh, uh, well, during the Depression, there were probably some times when you thought right. you would be, I'll tell you. Uh, I, I had a lady down here the other night. When you when you go in for dinner, you know you, you go in and you pick up a tray and you knife and fork and spoon and so forth and put up the line and then you tell her what you want and they, the girls in the back of the counter they they stare at you and uh, they just said the other night this is one thing I hate about this I don't like this damn in line. Uh -huh. uh, I said, lady, you ever been in a bread line before? <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, if you can't carry your tray, is there somebody, somebody to carry it for you? For you? Yeah. Because I would think a lot of people would have Oh, yeah, there's a lot of people who can't carry it. Mm -hmm. Not like me. Now, she can't go up the line and up she can't walk. I go up the line and get her tray filled and mine at the same time. And then somebody, and then somebody picks her tray up and takes it and I carry them on. This is nice out here. It it's is very here. nice, yes. Uh, did you come here because it was back in your old area or because it was... No, we just come here because we were looking for some place to go. It, it got where it was too much. She got where she couldn't see the cook, she couldn't see the turn stove on. And, uh, at Chatham Gardens. Yeah, at Chatham Gardens, yeah. I liked it there. Uh -huh. it was, uh, you could walk... Uh, walk right straight the outdoors and be on the ground and here I'm up in the air, but they didn't have any places down there that they could cut the door okay. into and make it like this. Did you ever go to the store, Mom? Did you ever go to the store? Did you sell them at all? Well, I do. I had to go to the store, and I had to do the vacuum, and I did a lot of things. I didn't do any dusting. I won't dust. Now, do they have somebody that cleans here for you? Once a week. Once a week. Well, that's they awesome. They give it a hit and a miss. You can dust your own if you don't dust, like it, right? Dust your own. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, how long, uh, you, when did you move from Oakland Mills then? 
When did you remove from Oakland Mills? You moved we to Oakland. 19 years. We lived, we lived in Oakland Mills 19, 19 years. years. So about 1945 or so then. Somewhere within that, yeah. Is that when you moved to Ellicott City? Yeah. And you lived there then, what, 30 something years? We lived in the Brown Shingle House. Oh, uh -huh. Six, what, six, seven years? And then we moved. Then we, we built. Then we built. The, I had I had a lot of ground, but the ground was in the back, oh, and uh, I just had to mow it and keep it out of rough the bushes. And I got up that morning one day and I stopped and I come in and I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell this house, and build me a house over there. And she said, I know you're going crazy now. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Huh? Uh, and that's what I did do too. Back there off, off Wood Row. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Frank, Frank and Baker lived in the Brown Shingle House where where we when we moved out of the city that I bought and moved in. Frank and Baker was the first one. Oscar Baker. That's a different son. that's not H J's brother. No, no. It's no. Another Frank. Another, Frank another Baker. Baker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Another little, yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. uh, so you're related to a lot of people in Howard County. You uh, you have a lot of relatives, oh, yeah, cousins yeah, yeah. And, and whatever oh, yeah. because of uh get a note here and there. Cousins, you only have one. No, I don't have many cousins. No. How many brothers did you have? Brothers and sisters? I got uh, one, two, three, four. I got three brothers. Three brothers. Four boys. Okay. And uh, There's nine children. Yeah. Oh, is that right? There uh -huh. were nine. Yeah. Two of them are dead. So. Uh huh. But did they all have families? So. They've, uh, they've all got families, yeah. So you've got nieces and nephews. Isn't that marvelous? Except in one sister. i got one sister down in Prince Frederick. She died of Good, strong, healthy family. I just saw Patsy up at um, Rudell's daughter up at the St. John's yesterday. Did you there? She had sunglasses on. I didn't recognize her. <laughs> and then she pushed them up and I... I don't see her that I guess often. that answers mom's question. Mom didn't want to know whether they went to Ocean City or not. Oh, I think it was um, Saturday night. Oh, yes, it was Saturday night. Uh -huh. So she's had the two girls. Uh, she had two daughters? Yeah. Uh -huh. They were in the car. Yeah. So I don't think they went to Ocean City <laughs> unless they went after that. Uh, Do you know Rudell, too? Yes, I went to his church with uh -huh. Rudell and his uh -huh. Right. And I had Jonesy in my Sunday school class. Yeah. Uh, he was a teenager when I uh, when we moved out here in the '60s, uh -huh. and I he was always a favorite of mine, uh, Jonesy, because he was so so much fun, such a nice. He's a nice He is. I uh, enjoy He's him. Uh, kind of a kind of I guess you say a little peculiar. Duck. He. Uh, He's very artistic. You never, very you never know, you never know what he's going coming up with next. <laughs> yeah. He's just very creative. Yeah, yeah. But you know, he's lost his hair so he young. Has. Oh, he's so young. Yes, right. He he's had so young. Pretty hair and went to school. Well, it's just hereditary. H. J. You know. Yeah, he that's is, right. Uh, has lost his, so. and he didn't get it from his mother's side of the family because the grandfather here yeah. has a nice head of hair. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So they don't really have a problem with it. It's like a curl. It goes over his head naturally, curly. Okay. No, my hair. Mm -hmm. I never had a uh, real straight hair. Uh -huh. But he, he used to have curly hair. Yeah. Until he aged. Yeah. I don't know what You're lucky to have that much hair left. Uh, it's too, uh, too, um, uh, I don't know how to relate pictures of girls and that kind of thing. You don't? I thought, there's Miss Annie Wicks, the lady we were talking about, that I finally went to school with. Oh, uh-huh. And uh, there's two sisters down here, and uh, they hadn't been here too long. Now, the Wicks, were they running a blacksmith shop still yeah, that's when, right. you, that's, when you that's, lived there? Yes, ma'am. Were they still operating yes, there? Yes, ma'am. The old grandpappa still lived and, and uh, run the blacksmith shop. But there are a lot of Wicks 
still around the county. Yes, yes, yes. Well, three albums, and I, that's my first one. I see. And things went by. I don't know why we had to be taking pictures of the house when they had to be blueprints. I guess we figured we had every penny in its spot. <laughs> you didn't think about <laughs> taking a picture of think the house. Picture. Right? That's a bad oh, he's a junkie when he's Yeah, there he is. I knew there was something in there somewhere. Yeah, I recognize yeah. you. Yeah, he's got hair there. Have you always called him junkie? Well, well I, do. I don't know whether that's right. I mean, when, that. you, when he was a little fellow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess Joan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, those are Those are Yeah. Right. And Elwood, well, to Elwood, uh, Elwood's up, what, one, one time? One time, yeah. And is she married? Yes, she's um, married. Bailey. Does she have any children? No. So no. you don't have any? What no. was her first name? Debbie. Debbie, because she went to school with my oldest boys. I think she's 27. 27, Mom. Huh? Is Debbie about 27? Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh-huh. She went to school with my oldest boy is uh, Kenny, and uh, I remember Debbie Wallace uh-huh. in his class at St. John's Elementary School. Yeah, that's and, right. And, and, um, she's been married three years. You don't know. Right, so just just through Patsy right he's, now. Uh, he's married to a dentist. Oh. And he uh, yeah. his, has his office over on Road 40 in the professional building over there. And uh, and she, uh, uh, I, what is the hygienic? Uh, clean teeth. Oh. Yeah. So Dental well, she works for another dentist because he can't pay her enough money. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, That's yeah. probably a good idea, yeah. anyway, you know, to uh, not be together mm-hmm. all that much. I've got pictures also of the Ellicott City Flood. Oh, uh, the one in 72 or earlier ones? The, the worst one. That was in 72. 72, yeah. Yeah. Well, Did you have it in, in another album? Yes, ma'am. Am I in your way? I don't think so. Okay. It's the red book, Mom, and the brown one. The flood book. I think the one on top would be the one. We're looking for the flood. The flood pictures. Uh, Wallace, do you remember during World War II when the prisoner of war, when the German prisoners used to work on the farms? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember that? Yes, ma'am. Did you ever, uh, were you, you weren't farming at that time? Not, no, but no. But when I was working for the county, the county used to work uh, the prisoners from house corrections. I used to go down there in the morning with a truck and get 10 men. Oh, is that right? During, during the war when you couldn't hire help. Um, now, but like the roads, people, you didn't use the, the German prisoner of war, did no, you? No, ma'am. You used the prisoners from, from the house. House Corrections. Then well, did you pay them at all? I don't know whether they did or not, I'll tell you the truth. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, that's Patsy. That's Patsy. That's Oh, 
Seven o'clock that morning, and the water was up. Up, uh, let me get my feet on the ground again. Yeah. This is uh, there's Valmas, yeah. the lower Valmas' lunch room. That was the second floor. Okay. There's Main Street. Here's, mm -hmm. here's a commercial farmer's bank. Yeah. There's water up there. Did you take these? No, ma'am. Some some kid got there's um. The sheep, uh, bought sheep, yeah, bought us. Some kid got up on top of the bank up there somewhere and oh. took these pictures and brought them down the store to have them developed. Oh. And uh, I just got a copy oh. of them made off at the time. Mm. Yes, okay. And this is after the water went down. After, after the water started. went down, yeah. Look at the cars. Yeah, I mean, they were, look all over that. It was everywhere. Oh, it was a mess. Mm. That makes you feel like getting up and walking home. Oh. This is the old stone houses down next mm. to the railroad down mm. there. Yeah. That was the back, back end of Donut. Yeah. They had a big shed that was back here. Uh, That's where railroad cars come on. You know, they washed all that yeah. completely away. Uh, the yeah, Donut. Uh -huh. There's another big picture of that. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> if, um, if I would want to copy, say, a picture of your house from Oakland, Mills or or the Minutemen walking down the street. Would you let me take those pictures? Not today, but yeah. if I decide I would want to copy them, or maybe the group here from the you said this is the Pindell School. Yeah, so we Pindell could, School. We could mm -hmm. make a copy of that picture and maybe identify. Do you know some of the people in here? Do you remember? You know, Bernie, all of them, don't you? Is that right? One time I had a contest in a time a few years back. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, so I could walk and do something for myself. I put that picture in. I named every one of them. Is that right? Well, <laughs> this is Lee Hall. And, uh. Maybe, here, let's just give you the album here, and why don't you just see how many you can recognize. I've done something for you. Oh, that's okay. See, I can't see anything anymore. Because. See, I want to put all these in here so I have something to look at for old age. <laughs> 
I know that. I remember two or three of them. I know that. Sister Elma. I know who this is. Which one is this? This is
because, you know, there's a village Owen Brown and a road Owen right. Brown. Mm-hmm. And it's curious, it just happens to be that we were living here, and that's one of the That's right, names. funny, too. Used to be a fellow by the name of Joseph Howell, who married Ella May Bloom, uh, lives on Owen Brown Road. When you come off 29, and if you come up the first grade, almost right up on the top of it, on the right-hand side, uh, he lived there, built himself a brick house, and after he got his house built, he was going, he'd, in fact, I think he'd talked to a lawyer about changing it and having that name changed. He didn't want to live on that road named after a dead man. And, and, but in the meantime, he died, and he never got it, it, it was dropped, and it never, it was You said her name was Bloom. Was she from Bloom's Corner? Uh, she was from down there, going down Columbia Pike. Uh, you don't know May Bloom. Yeah, the grandfather, yeah, the grandfather was on the Bloom's corner. Oh, I see. That, was, that, was, that was William Bloom, and uh, Harry Bloom was her father, and they lived in the stone house and part frame that uh, Jones, the... Oh, the county executive? Yeah, county executive, oh. where he lived. That's where they was raised. That's where she was. Yeah. Bloom mm-hmm. Did you call that Bloom's Corner there at uh, Yes, ma'am. That was, a, that was a landmark. Anybody, everybody knew where Bloom's Corner was. But you know, did you ever, did you know that it was Columbia before, that that was the post office up there? No, before no. Before it was Bloom's Corner. No, 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 we never knew anything about Columbia. That we was, called Columbia back a uh, hundred years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But then everybody... Remembered it Is that right? Corn. When they first started the town, the town here of Columbia, somebody called her up one day, called up and she answered the phone and said they were making a survey. Uh, they wanted to see what people thought of Columbia and what they, what their opinion was. And uh, the wife said, well, tell you the truth, at my age it don't make a bit of difference to me because I'll never live to see a house on it. <laughs> 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 well, you weren't very optimistic, were you? <laughs> yeah. The town's almost 20 years old. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, and running out of ground, the flames. Yeah, well, I think they've got a new village, I know, Parkville, out in Trotter Road. Yeah, Trotter Road, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what the Howard County Times said this week. But you won't know the name of the I don't know. No, well, I think you did very well. Yeah. If I could see him, I'd know him all. I was trying to find Lee Hall. I know he's gone. I don't know what you're sure I've heard you say it was. A lot of people can't can't eat seasoned food. Do they put any seasoning on the table for you? Uh, oh yeah, they have. Uh, so you could. 